Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Panchas and welcome back to Brock and Lord's playthrough slash tutorial. It was a grave times, I'm afraid, because one of my cities is about to fall and there ain't anything I can do about it. Drama is under siege and attacked. Now you may be surprised because this is not where you remember me leaving this game, but as I said, I finished the last 10 off camera because there was nothing else to do except for the good old retreating, healing up the units technique, which I was obviously using. Now the slight little problem is that my city is now going to die. Why is that? Why are those guys so insistent on capturing my city? And why are they going to succeed? Well, obviously they are going to succeed because they have a powerful army and I have one militia and I have that hero. But the reason they are here is because I could not successfully lay siege to this city. I was trying to get over there as you've seen and I was blocked off. And also I was trying to move my unit backwards in order to go from this angle. I was unfortunately attacked. Now when I lay siege on the city again, my hope is that those guys will come back down. But the damage will be done by then. I will lose an amazing death producing city. And it will take me a while to you know, recover from this. I will recover from this, I have no doubt about that. But it will be difficult to say the least. Additionally, this kind of very long, painful, resource draining war is not exactly what I'm looking for, I'm afraid. It may seem like I am, because obviously Capet Sidring is heading the enemy more than it is heading me, no doubt about that. But I'm also on a time schedule. I have only met two players, well, three if we include the ones I killed, but I have only met three players in total. And look at the score! I'm looking in particular at the red score. I have not met red player, I have no idea who it is, but this score is troubling to say the least. It's extraordinarily high, that that's what I can say for a fact. And blue player, I assume, is currently being conquered by the red player. That, and it happens on some kind of continent far, far away in the distant lands, and I have no influence on that, which is a crying shame, because what I would love to do is actually, even if it costed me a lot, to sign a peace treaty with the two players I'm fighting right now, maybe not the voters, but the roving class certainly, and declare war on the red player and decapitate him. Because as broker lords, it is incredibly important for you to capacitate the most powerful player when you're playing against AI at the very least. Why? Because it's the kind of player that is most likely to get the scientific victory. And you're not gonna be able to outrun the AI when it comes to scientific victory unless you stop it. Otherwise it's just gonna get it faster than you can possibly even imagine. So I need to find red player. But currently there's a lot on my plane... Plane? Plate, I mean, already. I mean, look at my empire. No matter where I look, and my frame rate is so low now. Why did the frame lower when I zoomed out to a more simplistic view? I have no idea. Anyway, things are happening everywhere and I'm a little bit busy, I don't exactly have the time to hire and send some scouts to other areas of the map and try to, you know, discover where the red player is. Then I would have to send more armies to over there and start capping into the enemy and probably stop capping sieging the roving clowns which would allow them to get back to their full strength and, well, they wouldn't be able to declare war on me, really, but I would still lose a city and I cannot in good conscience go after the red player. What I can do is prepare for that. They are most likely, in fact, almost certainly on another continent. I need to gather ASAP. I need to get shipyards. Been along. I'm glad I have noticed this. This was a complete accident when I hovered the mouse over the ready button. And I saw this. And my heart kind of skipped a bit, a little bit. I have to say, when it comes to luck, this playthrough is everything but lucky. First of all, I meet the other majors as my first opponent. Like I said many times, the most difficult opponent for early game broker lots. And then the best player in the game is on the wrong continent, so I can't possibly stop him. I could try to go there now, but without this... I wouldn't call it cheat, but let's call it a cheat. This score cheat that allowed me to see how powerful this guy is, I would have never known how good he is. And you know, he just spawned on the opposite side of the world from me. That's fairly unlucky. And apparently he had the blue player to feed him. I can try to do something about this, but not in the next 10 turns. So my hope is that this score is coming from, I don't know, military, economy or something, not from science. That said, I they, those cannot be the voters, and it's the voters usually who are grabbing the scientific victory. Or other mages, if we're talking about AI, but other mages are dead. So who could it be? Necrophages. Well, 
In early game, Necrophytus are Broccolos favorite target. It's so easy to devastate Necrophytus in early game as Broccolos. You have no idea they are my favorite enemy. Late game, they're probably the most powerful faction in the game. Those could be Necrophages, and in which case I'm not sure if I can handle them. Okay, next on the list, Wild Walkers. Tough cookie to crumble, but they're unlikely to get scientific victory, or at least not yet. So I would be okay with them. Sure, they would have powerful armies beyond imagination, but you've seen me fare well against powerful armies beyond imagination so far. I could maybe get them under control. Who else? Draken, those cannot be the Draken, I would know that. Cultists. <laughs> no way. Cultists could not have such a high score. I'm sorry, but AI is just horrible when it comes to kill cultists. It does not know how to play them at all. It's just flat out bad. What I think is actually more likely is that the blue guys are the cultists, because look at the score. That's what I would expect out of a cultist player. AI has no idea how to convert villagers for some reason. It needs to be fixed, yes, because I'm trying to think about the games where I've seen the AI convert villagers. I cannot. Pretty bad. Anyway, I was trying to drag on for too long. I've been talking for seven minutes. That's way too long. It's time to lose drama. I'm sorry, but it has to be done. I cannot retreat. I could go into my new battle and see if I can maybe just maybe cheese the AI in such a way that would allow me to perhaps stay alive. Because in auto battle I will just lose. So let's go into manual and see if I can maybe utilize terrain, but no, there are not, no cliffs here. There is a tiny little cliff right there. That's all I can use. Where is my hero even? Oh, there you are. Oh, it's a good hero as well. Oh, that's a shame it will... I mean, it will not cost me a staggering amount of money to get him back, but uh, that's annoying. Also, it's no longer alpha. I can't put him over here to make him invincible. That's a bit sad. Okay, I'll put him as far away from the enemy as possible, then I'll put him in this forest tower, and I guess... I guess I'm just gonna, you know, defend over here and see if I can maybe just maybe survive for long enough. Meanwhile, Yudio says, you do the same thing on the opposite side of the map. The enemy will be able to get to me in a single turn, though, so this tactic is unlikely to work, so drama is lost. That's five population giving me a ton of dust production, so I'm not too happy about it, but there is much I can do. Unfortunately, Tara is working hard on more Star Wars. Now, I could buy out more population, but I will need it to heal up my army, so... As much as it would help me, I will not do this. Besides, I'm going to get Apprenticeship Registry on the next turn, and after that, I'll gain a huge amount of Star Wars made each turn, so this should be okay-ish. Anything else I need to do this turn? I have, as you can see, moved my Vanguard region towards Lodera, but then I only have now noticed that the enemy also moved those Titans to Lodera as well. Oh, I still have movement here? That's nice. Let's move slightly further away from the Titans. Can I go... I can go to this town. That's still a city district? Yes, this actually also is a city district. Let's go over there. Make it as annoying for the enemy to attack me as possible. And I'm still under siege, I just cannot see this enemy city, so I don't know how well the siege is going. Anyway, how are you doing? All my units are still alive! What a surprise, what a shock! And my hero actually still has fortification points, which is great. Fortification points for ho those who don't know. I mean, I don't know why you would not know now, but still, you probably... In case you don't, they act not only as secondary HP, but on the 10 your unit has fortification points, it cannot be damaged, as in its life cannot be damaged. I mean, it can be if another unit attacks it, but let's say that if a Yermak attacks me, and yeah, like right now, as you can see, they dealt 23 damage, I had 22 fortification points and 88 life. I should have had 87 life now, but because I was using fortification, all the extra additional damage done to fortification was not carried over to life. That's an intentional thing, it's a balancing factor. Made sure that is supposed to make sure that you know fortification is actually a big deal. Anyway, uh, no, I was not able to save this city, it's not gonna go down. Shame, really. It really is a shame, but there was nothing I could do right there. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can. I did have a look at the marketplace of camera, but honestly, nothing I can do here either. Titanium is high on the marketplace, but I cannot sell it, I need to buy it instead because I don't have a source of titanium and I need to have it in order to get. A British registry. Anyway, enemy captured my steep bit annoying. My hope is that they will level it up and they will not press their advantage and attack Tara. If they do, I'm in a bad spot. Hopefully though, they will not. Anyway, I should see them coming uh, fairly quickly, so I'll know that. 
And there is that. I have moved this army. Yes, I have. I know my hero is wounded. I can now safely end my turn. So let's go ahead and do just that. If I see an enemy army here, I'm going to cry. Just a little, but I will cry. Because if I lose Star, I can basically say goodbye to this playthrough. No, I'm actually deadly serious. This is my production center. Without Tara, I'm dead. I have moved my army east. It was a gamble. I could have moved it south to Tara because I saw what is coming. And if I moved it south to Tara, I would have been safe. But I decided to move it east. I'm so gonna F you in the beat. But I decided to move it east because, you know, I like a little bit of risk play, you know, high risk, high reward, in a hopes of being able to capture the water cities. And I was not expecting the AI to come up north. And as you can see, so far I was right, it's not going up north. I think this Yimakam is gonna go down south now to protect the city I'm about to start besieging. Like this. My only regret is that I wasn't able to do this sooner, but hey, unfortunately, I was just unable to do that. Anyway, Dine is now under siege, so this is good, but still that does not quite make up for the fact that I have lost the city. Anyway, retreat you. Oh, come on, don't tell me it's backed. Yeah, this battle is backed now. That's just lovely. I will have to reload it. I'll see you in a moment. Alright, um, I have some pretty bad news. I have reloaded this game about four, five, no, four times already. No matter what I do, if I retreat, if I fight in manual, if I fight in auto battle, if I spectate, this battle does not want to proceed at all. I might have to reload an area save, which does not strike me as particularly cool because I will need to remake this whole video cast. And I have other things to do in this video cast and still things to show you and whatnot. So I'll try to see if I can skip the 10 or I will. I know what I will do. I'll continue playing this turn like I normally would, then I'll save, then I'll reload. Good. That's a good idea. Anyway, I did want to show you some things that are important. First things first, I do need to take care of this ILS thingy. So first things first, I need to fight those guys. Now this should be an extraordinarily easy battle. Casters or whatever they're supposed to be called are horrible at war. So I can just auto battle and they should all be killed and I should take no damage whatsoever. Like you see. Because they are not supposed to fight, they are supposed to heal, and that's about it. My hero leveled up as well. That's very nice, isn't it? Anyway, let's give him the ability he needs, rather than the ability he has. Next, I'm going to use my dragon hero, and give him a little bit of extra experience by bribing this uh, tribe. I failed this quest. Oh well, it was not a big quest, but now I know for a fact that there were only two ILS-1 tribes in the Smao region, which is good to know, because now I don't have to go down there. So what next? Well, I'm gonna send those guys to Rough Color. They'll help with the siege and whatnot. I need that. I'll probably send like one of those to sail as well. Might as well surprise him already, but they have no more movement, so it's too late for that. But uh, yeah, I'll do that. Next, I'm going to reassign my dragon here to this army, because this army is actually going to do some warring. And on the next turn, it's going to go into the temple ruins to give the hero more experience. And I'll start a full siege of... Uh, Probably this city, whatever it's called, because I remember it having more population. It's probably better developed. Sure, it's better protected as well, but regardless, seven titans against six titans, it's not a very big difference in the end. And both are gonna be very tough fights, and I will need more units to do this. But I would like to start the siege and stop the units within a city. And if I remember correctly, there are more units within this city than rough color as well, so it's a bad idea. Anyway, I will need to again pause the video cast because. Yeah, the battle is still ongoing, except I can't finish it. Been annoying. Still. I'll see you in a moment. Alright, so here is what will happen. I'll have to end this video cast right here. I'm sorry. Because uh, my tactic worked in a way. It did allow me to finish this battle. But now I have another battle going on that I cannot possibly finish. I tried retreating as you can see, and no, it's stuck. Again, same bag. Bit annoying because it means I'll have to reload several saves back, but I don't want to undo this whole video. So what I'm going to do is upload it right now, and next time you see me, I'll replay the last few turns of Camarado with the exact same decisions. So we'll be around 10, 63 again next time you see me. Things might be slightly different, but not too much. 
The reason why I'm posting this video in the first place instead of re-recording it is simply because I just have no more time today to record another video and you need to, you deserve to see another video because you haven't not seen one yesterday or today so I need to post something and this was supposed to be my something I get except you know things turned out badly. So I'm sorry for making it short and sorry for it ending such in, in such an inconclusive manner. Uh, I'll try to make it up for it. In the meantime, since apparently this video cast is not going to show much gameplay anyway, I guess I might as well do some announcements. New series is coming, and I don't think I'm going to make any spoilers if I say that it is going to be an endless space series, so this will happen. When exactly? Oof. Either I'll start recording a day before New Year or a day after. I cannot say for sure when, but I am planning to make this series, so it is going to come. Additionally, I'm also going to host a giveaway, so look forward to that, vi that video. And also another special video about my favorite games of the year, which I did not do last year, but this year I certainly am planning to do so. I'm not sure when it will come out, probably after New Year, maybe not. We'll see. As for the multiplayer series, there will be one, maybe two more videos, but because we have talked with other players, and because there was such a huge gap between the last game, multiplayer game we played, and now, we might possibly just end it inconclusively. Which I'm not too keen on, but honestly, even I don't remember very well what happened last time. Like, I do remember in general what happened, but not too well. So, I might have to end this series and scrap it. The multiplayer series, that is. We'll see, though. I still haven't heard from all the players, and we'll still be talking about this, and we'll be thinking when can we play at all. And things like that. Anyway, I wanted to update you on things since this video cast was not good for anything else. Anyway, thank you for watching. Sorry for such a short video. Next one will be longer. It was Panchasu, also known as the Mighty Mix Spammer, and I'll see you online.